And then there are fathers who live in the homes and are present, but they are not engaged. Even in the Bible, think about all the fathers who were present, but they were not engaged. I mean, terrible fathers with these wicked sons. You think about Jacob. I mean, his son Reuben is sleeping with his stepmoms. He has murderous sons. They sell their brother off into slavery, and he still doesn't do anything. Then you have someone like Eli the priest. I mean, his sons were so wicked, stealing from the temple, sleeping with prostitutes, so bad that God even tells him, I'm going to destroy your family because of how terrible they are, and you aren't doing anything. And he still doesn't do anything. And then you think about David. I mean, Amnon rapes his sister, Absalom sleeps with his stepmoms, and he tries to overthrow his father. And these dads still don't do anything. And so like I said before, I'm not completely against corporal punishment because if I had a hypothetical third son who did anything like those kids in the Bible, yeah, he's gonna wish that he was dead. And so rather what it is saying is fathers, do not withhold the leadership and the guidance that you owe your kids. Otherwise, you are a bad father who hates his children. Rather, be a father who spends time with his kids, training them, teaching them, guiding them, getting to know them so that when something is off, you can discipline them promptly. The rod brings comfort. Comfort and train up your child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it.